Timothy Chalamet signs with Warner Brothers, Logan Paul gets upset with a documentary, and Ezra Miller gets cut from Invincible. Okay, so Variety has reported that after the success of Wonka and Dune, Warner Brothers have signed a multi-year feature film deal with the actor to collaborate on future projects as the star and producer. So Dune Part 2 has grossed $575 million globally and Wonka has made $632 million globally. Now actors signing first deals with studios isn't really something new. Um, the last one I can remember was actually Addison Rae signing with Netflix to do future projects and produce as well. Now I hope this one goes well for him. I hope he gets full control over which projects he gets to do next. I hope it doesn't turn out to be a Emily Blunt Gulliver's Travel situation. You make me sound like a monster. I'm not turning people into anything. I'm fixing humanity's weaknesses. Okay, now according to Entertainment Weekly, Ezra Miller, who played D.A. Sinclair in season one of Invincible, was let go and replaced with Eric Bowser in the second season. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. This was due to Ezra Miller's arrests and allegations. Now to me this isn't surprising because it's clear that the studio is just looking after themselves and putting some distance between them and Ezra Miller. It led to me opening up on Graham's documentary because I thought he had my best interest. Okay, so in a recent TMZ interview, Logan Paul expressed his disappointment in filmmaker Graham Bensinger, who allegedly misled him in thinking he was filming a documentary series with Apple TV+, Plus, but ended up going on his YouTube channel. Profile on my life, and I let him in for five months under the pretense that it was going to be a show on Apple TV, and yesterday it airs on his YouTube channel. Okay, so Logan Paul is a marketing genius, right? So this could actually be part of the promotion. But assuming he's actually upset, it sounds like he was doing this Graham guy a favor by allowing him to film for five months. If the deal fell through, you would think that the project would also be dead, but to put it on your YouTube channel afterwards makes it kind of foul. Whether you have a friendship or not, it looks bad that the star of the documentary is upset about what came out of it. 